really get a better place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us see Hi, this is Mary from Mary's Stamping Happenings and welcome to Tips and Techniques Tuesday. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a flower or two from the Blooming Bouquet Project Kit from Stamping Up. What you get in the kit is you get some die cut flowers and you don't even have to use the kit. You could do one of our punches, our flower punches or our big shot dies with this. And yeah, you get enough to make 13 flowers. So you get the flowers, you get this little white little thing that goes on the back. I'll show you how to use that. You get some stems. And you get some plain buttons here. Just clear little buttons. What you need to bring is a hot glue gun with glue and that end up use the bone folder. So right now let's do this pool party one. And there are three of the same colors, so you're going to take out all three. One of these has a little slit in it. If you can see that right there, it has just a little slit, and I'll show you how to do that. But first of all, with your bone folder, what we're going to do is we're just going to distress or round these petals on all three of these flowers, just like this. Now you can get this kit from Stamping Up. You can go to my website, marytroutner.stampingup.net for more information. Or my blog at marysstampinghappenings.blogspot.com Okay, now we've cur curled those. And the one with the little slit, what we're going to do is we're going to put some hot glue right on the bottom of one of those slits, just right around it. Open it up, just like that. And we're going to just fold it in and hold it for a second. I like those little spider webby things. They get all over the place with that hot glue. Okay, and then what you're going to do is just wait a second to it hardens. Get all those spider webby things off. Then you're going to put a little more hot glue on the back of that first one. And you're going to take the another one and you're just going to put that right there. And what you want to do is you want to make sure it's offset. Just like that. It's in the center but it's just a little offset so you can see all of the... Then we're going to take another little bit of hot glue and put this one there. And again, offset that one. Then we're going to put right in the middle, we're going to put some hot glue, just a little bit, and we're going to stick our button right there. Got to get all those strings off. Okay. And then what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the stems and you can just bend the end a little. And I find it works better just put on something hard and bend it up almost like an S or a Z or else it'll be a little off center. So what first you're going to do is you're going to take that little white little circly thing and you're going to put it on because it's supposed to be around and make it look a little bit better, but I don't think it does, but it just covers up some of that green. And then you're going to put a little bit of glue right on the back of that, and then you're going to stick that right there, and then just slide that down to cover that up. 
and you're going to wait a few minutes just to make sure that it's all dried and hard. I already took it off once too early, tried to pick it up and it just, so you got to wait till the hot glue cools off. And there you have it. One of the blooming bouquet. It also comes with some sayings here. Thank you, love, spring, create. And you can use some of this if you want to put all of them in a little jar or a vase and put the tags on them. Or you can even, I'm thinking of what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these, cut the little stems and then I'm just going to use one of the tags, the thank you, and just put it on there and uh, um, for a thank you present for some of my folks. Anyhow, thanks for visiting. Happy stamping.